Are you in love with a manipulator? Welcome back, deep thinkers. Did you know that nearly 60% of people have experienced manipulation in their relationships at sooner or later? It's a mind-blowing statistic that makes you wonder how many of us are unknowingly being played by manipulators. In today's video, we're diving deep into the five signs you're in love with a manipulator. From subtle guilt trips to outright emotional blackmail, we're gonna break it all down. So if you've ever felt confused, isolated, or doubted your own reality, stick around. You might just find the answers you've been searching for. Let's get into it. Have you ever found yourself apologizing for things that aren't even your fault? It's a common scenario when dealing with manipulative individuals. Manipulators are masters at making you feel guilty for everything. They twist situations to make you feel like you're always in the wrong. Picture this. You're late coming home from work because of traffic. It's an unavoidable situation, yet it becomes a point of contention. Instead of understanding, your partner accuses you of not caring about them. They make it seem like your lateness is a personal affront. Suddenly you're the one feeling guilty for something beyond your control. This guilt weighs heavily on you, affecting your mood and self-esteem. In workplaces this can look like a boss who blames you for the team's failures even when you've done your part. They use guilt as a tool to maintain control and keep you submissive. It's a tactic to keep you on edge and compliant. The constant feeling of guilt makes you second-guess your actions and decisions. In family dynamics it might be a parent who guilt trips you for not visiting enough, despite your busy schedule. They make you feel like you're neglecting your duties as a family member. These guilt trips are designed to make you feel responsible for their happiness and well-being. It's an unfair burden that manipulative people place on you. But here's the kicker. It's never enough. No matter how much you apologize or try to make things right, they'll always find something else to blame you for. They thrive on your guilt and use it to control you. The cycle of blame and apology never ends, leaving you feeling perpetually at fault. Stick around, because next, we're going to talk about how manipulators isolate you from your loved ones. Understanding these tactics is the first step to breaking free from their control. Isolation is a classic manipulation tactic, often used to control and dominate. Imagine you've planned a night out with friends but your partner suddenly falls ill, claiming they need you by their side. They insist you go but their disappointment is palpable, making you feel guilty for even considering leaving. You cancel your plans, and soon, these cancellations become a pattern, a routine you can't seem to break. Before you know it you're spending all your time with them, and your social circle shrinks, leaving you feeling isolated. At work, it might be a colleague who constantly needs your help, keeping you from networking or attending events that could further your career, stunting your professional growth. In family scenarios it could be a sibling who always needs you to babysit, making it hard for you to maintain other relationships and personal time. Manipulators isolate you to make you more dependent on them, ensuring you have no one else to turn to. The less connected you are to others, the easier it is for them to control you, making you feel trapped and alone. But don't go anywhere because we're just getting started. There's much more to uncover. Up next we'll explore how manipulators never take responsibility for their actions, always shifting the blame onto others. They never take responsibility. One of the most frustrating traits of a manipulator is their inability to take responsibility. Think about a time when an argument ended with you apologizing, even though you knew you weren't at fault. Manipulators are experts at twisting situations to make themselves the victim, ensuring you carry the blame. In the workplace this could be a colleague who never owns up to their mistakes, always finding someone else to blame. In family settings it might be a relative who never admits when they've hurt you, instead, turning the tables and making you feel guilty for bringing it up. This constant deflection keeps you questioning your own actions and sanity. You start to doubt your perceptions and wonder if you're the problem. But hold on because we're about to dive into one of the most insidious tactics manipulators use. Emotional blackmail. They use emotional blackmail. Emotional blackmail is a powerful tool in a manipulator's arsenal. Imagine your partner threatens to leave you if you don't do what they want, or they might say things like, if you loved me, you would. This kind of manipulation preys on your emotions and fears. In a work environment, it could be a boss who hints at firing you if you don't take on extra work. In family dynamics, it might be a parent who threatens to cut you out of their will if you don't comply with their demands. This tactic is designed to make you feel trapped and powerless. You end up doing things against your will just to avoid the emotional fallout. But don't go anywhere because we're about to uncover the final and perhaps most damaging sign. They make you doubt your reality. They make you doubt your reality. 
Gaslighting is the ultimate form of manipulation. It's a tactic used to make you question your own reality and doubt your perceptions. Imagine your partner denies saying something hurtful, even though you clearly remember it. They might twist the story, making you feel like you're the one who's mistaken. They might accuse you of being overly sensitive or imagining things. This constant denial and blame can be incredibly frustrating and confusing. Over time, you start to question your memory and sanity. You might find yourself second-guessing your own thoughts and feelings. In the workplace, this could be a boss who denies giving you certain instructions, then blames you for not following through. This can create a toxic work environment. In family settings, it might be a sibling who insists you're remembering childhood events incorrectly, making you doubt your own experiences. This can strain family relationships. This constant gaslighting erodes your confidence and self-trust. You start to feel like you can't rely on your own judgment. You begin to rely on the manipulator's version of reality losing touch with your own. This can make you feel isolated and dependent on the manipulator. It's a deeply disorienting experience, but recognizing it is the first step to breaking free. Awareness is crucial in reclaiming your sense of reality. Stay with us because we're about to wrap up with some final thoughts and how you can protect yourself from manipulators. Understanding these tactics can empower you to take control. Breaking free from manipulation. Thank you for sticking with us, deep thinkers. If you found this video eye-opening, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences and insights can help others who might be going through the same thing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We've got more deep dives and thought-provoking content coming your way. Thank you for watching, and remember, recognizing manipulation is the first step to breaking free. Stay strong, stay aware, and keep thinking deeply.